Hi, I am Prakash Shruti. In this video discussion, you will learn membrane separation process in the food processing industry. Second part, the main learning outcomes, reverse osmosis, application of the membrane filtration and membrane filter falling and its the food processing industry. The basic terms in the reverse osmosis process, the first osmosis then second osmotic pressure and third one is the reverse osmosis first what is mean by osmosis osmosis you can see the simplest example in which cut fruits on the surface of the cut fruits sprinkled with the salt or the sugar in this case the fruits that means low concentration it's containing higher percentage of the water and whatever the sugar and the salt that is it's containing low concentration of the water it is called as a high concentrate substances in this case after the sprinkling of the salt and sugar the solvent which is moved from fruit to salt and sugar that means the solvent which is passed through the semi permeable membrane from the lower concentration to the higher concentration it is called as osmosis that means water is which is the flowing from the fruits to uh, outside the surface that is the salt and sugar it is called as osmosis process this osmosis is occurred due to the concentration difference this is the natural process you can see simplest example in this process this is the tank in which center of the tank fitted with the membrane there is the semi permeable membrane the semi permeable membrane which is the divided tank into the two region the first region which is the filled with the high concentration syrup or high concentration any liquid and the second region this is the water in this case water that means the low concentration solution and this is the syrup that is the high concentration solution when external pressure that is the atmospheric pressure on the both side in this case due to the concentration difference their osmosis process is occurred that means water water which is the flowing from water phase to syrup phase that means flowing of solvent from low concentration to high concentration this process is called as osmosis process then second point osmotic pressure osmotic pressure this osmotic pressure is related to the directly proportion to the the fruit juice its concentration that means it's containing uh, constitutes related osmotic pressure of the uh, different fruits is vary with respect to the its chemical composition you can see in this example osmotic pressure the same image in this process when we apply the external pressure on the top of the high concentration syrup this pressure resists to the movement of the water flowing from water phase to the syrup phase if this pressure completely stop the movement of the water flowing from the water phase to the syrup phase this pressure required to stopping the movement of the flowing of the solvent from the water phase to the syrup phase this pressure is called as osmotic pressure this osmotic pressure occurred when the pressure same that is the external pressure and the pressure exerted due to the concentration difference is called as osmotic equilibrium process in the reverse osmosis process we must require to apply the pressure more than the osmotic pressure in this reverse osmosis process when we apply the pressure more than the osmotic pressure that case the solvent which is moving from high concentration to low concentration and this process is called as a reverse osmosis in the reverse osmosis filtration process by using the semi permeable membrane we can separate or the remove the feed material containing solvent the solvent is moving from high concentration to low concentration and this process is called as a reverse osmosis mostly reverse osmosis is procedure used for the preparation of the concentrated product the application of the microfiltration the mostly microfiltration is used in food processing industry for the clarification process 
what are the liquid foods this liquid food containing uh, colloidal particles or the dissolved particles microbial loads these are the separated and the prepared the clarified uh, like the fruit juice wine beer cedars liquid foods may have clarification of the vinegar then uh, some of the alcoholic beverages the during the preparation of the brine syrups or uh, removal of the microbial from the whole milk way uh, liquid foods these are the clarified by the microfiltration process the next second ultra filtration application in the food processing industry the application of the ultra filtration reverse osmosis mostly for the preparation of the concentrated product you can see the application of the ultra filtration in dairy processing industry for the preparation of the concentrated whey skim milk whole milk we can convert this skim milk and whole milk up to 7 to 8 eight fold concentrated product for the separation of the trypsin inhibitor from the vegetable oil in the clarification of the fruit juices water treatment and mostly for the preparation of the concentrated product in the enzyme processing technology these are the main application of the ultra filtration process in the food processing industry you can see the simplest example of the ultra filtration system in which the cross flow filtration system the batch in which we can prepare the concentrated product this is the feed tank this is the pump then cross flow filtration system in which after the filtration the permit is separated and then concentrated which is the again recycled and finally we can concentrate the feed material as per our requirement next third one is the reverse osmosis process the reverse osmosis is uh, basically used for the preparation of the concentrated product these are the number of the products and also used for the clarification of the liquid food products in the reverse osmosis mostly required to pressure related to the initial feed concentration needs osmotic pressure the pressure more than the 20 bar you can see the simplest example in which the reverse osmosis process first water which is the first pre-treatment is carried out in which the pre uh, filters then micro filters then uh, number of other uh, filters in. Uh, these are the pre-treatments process and after that they are the pass into the membrane separation technique then membrane cleaning and the sanitation process during the membrane filtration process you can the, see in between the processing the feed containing these are the number of the matters in which organic inorganic and colloidal and uh, biofouling materials which are accumulated on the surface of the membrane and resulting falling of the membrane that means in which the these particles which are the formation of the thin layer on the surface or maybe these particles are blockage the porosity of the membrane this must require to clean between the processing these falling particles which are the removed by the different techniques basically these falling particles are classified into four groups first one is colloidal particles in which the colloidal particles uh, including microbial loads and the organic matters in the colloidal form second organic matter in which food constituents fat protein carbohydrate like material inorganic material these are the salts mineral salts and uh, fourth one is the biofouling material in which microbial load which are the growing on the surface and producing the biofilms these are the materials must require to remove properly in between the processing cleaning of the membrane the main two types physical cleaning and the chemical cleaning or maybe the combinations or maybe a single chemical process is used in the processing line in the physical process by application of the mechanical forces to remove the falling materials on the surface of the membrane in which reverse flushing process air flushing process and the back washing process chemical cleaning process if the falling uh, of the membrane is more then chemical treatment is carried out in which acid alkaline and the sodium hypochlorite solutions um, maybe a cip system provisions or by maybe a clean out place system 
by using uh, this process, the cleaning of the membrane is carried out. The cleaning of the membrane may be carried out by using the enzymatic treatments. The sanitation of the membrane after the cleaning, some of the industries, the sanitation is also carried out by using the sodium hypochlorite solution, which is sufficient, or by using the sodium hypochlorite solution to sufficient to properly sanitize the membrane. These are the main methods used for the membrane cleaning. These are the references used for the preparation of this PowerPoint presentation. Thank you very much.